Hello people, welcome to another episode of the Clogger Podcast, episode number 42, um, the meaning of life. Um, as you might be able to tell, a bit different stuff, I'm in a different place, I am on a different computer, uh, and so on. So, I am on um, the t- late 2013, you know, 27 inch iMac, um, you know. Going here, we'll show um, yeah, like 25, 27 inch, and you know, there's the spec. Um, wait, does wait, is it not letting me select all of them? No, I can only select lines, it seems like absolutely pointless. What on earth? But yeah, those are the specs there. Um, yeah. And I've done a video about this already, so let's get to work. So, let's do the recap of videos, I guess. So, the first video was swapping around between two of my laptops. Uh, yeah, really simple, <laughs> and somehow it has 230 views. Oh my god. After that, I have made a fork of a front end for package managers. Might be like, oh, okay. And you're right. Oh, okay. This is probably a reasonable reaction. It's not the most exciting thing. And it's not even a you know, completely original idea for me because it's a fork. But it is a thing that I've made. It is actually kind of useful. So there's that. <coughs> Sorry about the cough here, I just really need to cough. Um, after that, it is upgrading to the maximum amount of RAM the Intel Mac Adventures Episode 3, which is this iMac. And if you saw in about this Mac, I have 32 gigs of video free RAM located in this computer because I have upgraded it. Um, after that, I now have a Patreon. So, um, I think I'm logged in. Yeah, it must be because it's got the icon there. Um, but I've got a Patreon. Um, and yeah, I upload some of my videos <coughs> early on here. So, if you look here, um, this. This first one, there's currently, well, there's been three here, um, three that I've given early access, and this will be early access to Patreons as well. So, yeah, I mean, probably all of the podcasts will end up being early access on Patreon. That's probably something I should point out. That, um, oh, cats. Yes, there's cats in the background. And I might actually need to um, let them out the door, which is a bit of my mistake. Um, yeah, I think she wants to get out. Hang on. Yeah, exactly what she wanted. Okay, back. So, um, let's adjust the screen slightly. <coughs> yeah, so, these are early access videos. Oh, my phone just fell. Um, <coughs> oh, I really think this cough. Um, yeah, so, Early access videos, this will be early access, probably all of the podcasts will be early access, but we have some more videos mixed in. Also that few numbers updated, it's reached a thousand views. Um, after that, first video on Patreon, so releasing soon, and my laptop charger is working. Laptop charger is a working dream result, for some weird reason, it just stopped working, but if I unplugged it from like the actual bit in the plug end, 
and plug it back in, it works. But if I did in the laptop end, nothing happened. Don't ask me. After that, I attempted to use Elite's phone as my main phone for a week. And, oh my god, I, I'm really happy this actually has got views. Because um, it probably deserves views way more than a lot of these. A lot of views more than a lot, quite a few of my, my videos. <coughs> um, yeah, so it's got 1,053 views as I'm filming. This might have way more, it might have not much more, you never know. Um, although, it looks like it, it, it's weird, it's sort of had a massive spike of views of today here, 133 views in this single hour. And it was like 19, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, then 10, 4, and then 5, and then currently it's got 2, and it's almost the end of the hour. <coughs> so yeah, it's a bit dodgy um, in terms of that. Um, but yeah, I, I just try and use it as my main phone for a week. Uh. <coughs> After that, it's attempting to upgrade the RAM in my Palmat 25 quad. Uh, Palmat 25 Adventures Episode 10. Spoiler, I failed. I misremembered the RAM megahertz. I thought it was um, 667, but it's actually 583. So I've now got a massive 3 GG or 2 RAM stick stuff that you can use. And then after that, the plan didn't happen. Basically, I was supposed to record this episode yesterday. And I did sort of end up recording like maybe 10 minutes worth, and then I went out of time. Basically, technical difficulties plus my incompetent incompetence. Um, yeah, basically caused that to not happen yesterday. Don't worry, this is a proper video. Um. Yeah, so, blah, 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 anything else? <coughs> um, so, first off, um, I will, oh, let's talk about this comment that I've saw um, yesterday. It's, oh, God, this, this comment here on the Dinks phone is just really ridiculous. Um, so, what's the point of shooting the first four and a half minutes of this video showing the device's screen and by that time getting to the idea of changing its wallpaper? I don't want to be rude as I'm merely calling for making content more interesting to the viewer. Should it be likes to this video that are desired? YouTube is such a nice service as such make it possible to run such studios and manifest almost live content even if the video content is solely kind of made about lifestyle be it in this case such as in this video um, that's not me english i'll show you my attempt to use my phone for a specific purpose that's been an excuse of a leading slow life that might even get its marginal audience if by the number of views it keep increasing <laughs> it's more or less the first paragraph that's just ridiculous and not the second half. The second half is just like, yeah, whatever. But the um, first bit is a bit ridiculous. So let's explain why. First four and a half minutes of this video showing the device's screen and only getting the idea of changing its wallpaper. Yes, about that mark, I do get to the idea of changing the wallpaper. However, it, it leaves a lot of stuff out. That's, like, that's just like saying, oh yeah, there's nothing important. Um, no, I put in the sim. That's quite an important step to doing this, for God's sake. Um, and then I probably did some discussion, and then I think I did something else, like I'm not what. Um, but yeah, stating 
eight like that makes it seem like oh and then four and a half minutes in oh okay let's change the wallpaper um which is ridiculous <coughs> um yeah it's not very accurate so yeah um and then the youtube such a nice service of adult studio and then they did the build the Perhaps legally being an excuse of slow life, so calling my life slow. That's interesting. I mean, you could argue it is, so I won't. I'm not slight disagreeing, I'm just saying it's a bit of a weird thing to say. And then it might get its marginal audience by the number of the views. I keep it freezing. <laughs> um, I don't really know what to try to say. <coughs> that. Um, but yeah, it's not really a comment that's, uh, it, it, I think it's more or less a comment that's trying to sell, like, it's constructive criticism, but it seems to just be sort of biased in like a weird way, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, mm. nice. Um, yeah, I'm um, trying to think what else can I say. Um, one cool feature about OPS or Mac OS at least, I don't remember seeing this on other um, operating systems, is it has an option to hide OBS windows. Um, which sounds ridiculous, but there is an OBS window. Right here, and I've just hit setting, and then I'll drag it across. Um, you can't see it, and I need to actually exit because I went into the wrong button. But if I go here, hide OBS from capture, as you might be able to see, you probably might not be able. There's a little checkbox that says hide OBS from capture, and then it does that, which is cool. Let's do that. I'm here. Yeah, really cool feature. Um, so, yeah. <coughs> um, yeah. Um, so I guess some plans. Uh, what I'm talking, what I want to talk about. I swear, about half my videos are plans, and then just half. My, no, for half is just like, uh, actual content, that's what it's doing for then. At least when I stop doing these daily videos, it won't be like that, hopefully. I don't, well, there's not really much reason why it would be like that. Um, so, if I'm being honest, I don't really know what videos I will exactly be doing, but I think... A video that I do sort of have planned, but not really, is um, to make a budget, like an ultra budget computer, um, using CPU, RAM, and storage from CX. Before we got the storage, um, oh, <laughs> bad thing here to do right there, but um, yeah, I've done the Bought storage. I just need to get it on a CPU, um, and I might already have. Maybe I could repurpose the RAM that I bought for DDR2 for the Power Mac 2 part. It depends really on what I I bug. I mean, the problem is I could go for a CPU that's capable of DDR2 six, six seven megahertz. But then that leads to the problem of um, um, leads to the problem of it actually not being that good, good as it can be. <coughs> um, because on CX they sell a lot of ten P CPUs, eighty nine of them. Um, and there were like some Haswell CPUs in there. And I don't know what AMD stuff put up 
bulldozer. I don't know exactly what bulldozer as a generation is in terms of time, but I, I don't know. There's like some FM2s. I don't know, FM3s. FM3s, don't know. Look at whatever. Um, also, another thing that I just remembered I have ordered a 2007 iMac. Finally. And you know I will be giving it RAM upgrade. Um, and SSD upgrade, and of course, the most important bit, CPU upgrade, eventually, and all of that will result in a big video, hopefully, I'll, I'll probably do it after I've stopped doing daily videos, potentially, actually, maybe not. <coughs> Maybe not the first bit like the it's all getting it up and running, but the second bit of doing a CPU upgrade um, would be um, getting every ver Intel version of macOS installed. <coughs> um, because by the way, there's it, you're wondering why would I want 2007 iMac? This is 2013 iMac, you know. It's, it's burned almost every single way apart from it's not got upgradable GPU. Actually, the, the 2007 I don't think it's an upgradable GPU. Um, yeah, and then also it's, I guess, another the disadvantage of this one is hard to take apart. <coughs> um, and yeah, those are some valid points. However, the 2007 iMac is special in its own way. Why is that, you might be asking? Because the 2007 iMac, as far as I know, is the only Mac. Um, let's just open core Empathy Patcher. This is a very good tool. I'm literally using it right now. Um, it is a tool that lets you get newer versions of macOS on unsupported Macs. Um, if you go into, uh, okay, um, if you go, don't know what's happened there. Oh, there you go. If you go into unsupported, um, supported models, go down to iMac. If you look, mid 2007. Is supported now. As you can see, there are a couple of requirements. They so, remove well. There's two. Well, I guess there's sort of two. There's sort of two requirements. Requires an SSE 4.1 CPU, um, which basically means you need to upgrade it. And then remove stock Bluetooth to prevent panic. That's enough requirement. I don't know if that, what, that, does that mean anything, any version, it doesn't really say, it doesn't say so I'm going to assume it means every version, considering SSC 4.1 is every version. <coughs> um, Non-metal GPU, there's not much you can do about it, although supposedly it's decent, although, shush, it's shush, so it kind of went off. <laughs> um, non metal GPU, nothing you can do about that, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, but yeah, all all of these models here, the um, further nine to twenty eleven can be upgraded to a metal GPU, and then um, the twenty twelves can't be upgraded. Like the GPU can't be upgraded, but they have metal GPUs, well, legacy metal. And then, like the 2017s, use not legacy metal. And <coughs> the 2019s and 2020, apparently, and the iMac Pro 
us all still support it. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah. Um, not sure what exactly your USB 1.1 would mean on non-laptops, non-MacBooks. Um, USB 1.1 peripherals. Um, I um, USB keyboards, mouse. Oh, okay, so, um, oh, okay, I see. Um, <coughs> yeah, I believe the internal mouse and keyboard, uh, like. Um, the MacBook don't work out of the box because of the USB 1.1 lack of drivers on macOS 13 and I'm on macOS 13 right it's 12 is Monterey and then 13 would be Ventura uh, and then 14 is for, for Noma um, Will I ever upgrade to some name on this? Probably eventually at some point then. But yeah. <coughs> um, yeah. Apparently, the actual patch requires a sim to you later, and ill capital later is required for venture later. But yeah, there's also like the dusty patcher for um, Mac OS X version that you can use. Um, which I'll probably end up using because it'll mostly work. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so I will do that, like have literally, um, because... Um, yeah, I should probably make this clear. The iMac 2007 can support. <coughs> Sorry. Um, the iMac 2007 can run um, every single version of Intel Mac OS. Um, I don't want to put iMac 2007. It's pretty close to Intel base. Actually, no, there's a thing here. Um, So, oh, it says patch three times. I mean, it's true. It's no leopard um, beaters did have um, support for PowerPC, but supposedly it was. I don't know what's going on there. Um, but supposedly, um, it would, it, um, some people said, oh, yeah, it's never intended. They were just removing code. Which very well could be true. Um, so, well, okay, apparently, supposedly, it doesn't require, um, doesn't support Sonoma. Um, doesn't say anything about the thing. Let's go into there. Um, you need to hardware oh, that's for native. Um, but yeah. Um, oh yeah, okay, so apparently you need USB hub, um, non-metal, yeah, that's what you'd want, um, so, yeah, it's got a HD, I want to say 2600, 20, but yeah. Um, but yeah, <coughs> um, yeah, there's a bit of problems on these, um, things, but there's a lot of, oh wait, this section is all for resolved issues, um, this is ability issues. Um, this is a nightmare. 
issues and then this is cosmetic issues I'm not sure what stage manager non-functional it's a cosmetic issue but oh well um mm, I don't really think them not actually working oh wait this is no my only issue it's just a complaint but no that's cosmetic issues down there <coughs> um but yeah um um so much shows to say there probably is um but yeah um um okay, okay. i think of what could i do um but yeah um But yeah, I can do so. Well, well, well um, <coughs> I could complain about the fact that you know, modern Mac OS is actually blah 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 blah. But obviously, the about this Mac is looks absolutely ugly. I believe this was changed in um, Ventura. I think Monterey and um, it's the one before Monterey Big Sur. Use the old style, but with a bit more padding on the top. I think I might be wrong. It might be Monterey that changed it to this, but either way, it looks ugly, in my opinion. I mean, my quest Big Sur and honestly looks ugly, but oh well. Um, anything else to say? Uh, just think, just anything to say. I don't really think so, so I guess that's going to be it for today, and goodbye.